If you are still creating PowerPoint presentations manually, then you are missing out. From the time generative AI came in market, there are multiple tools available using which you can start generating your PowerPoint presentations using AI. Today, I will show you one tool, which is the number one in PowerPoint creation if you want to use generative AI to generate your PowerPoint presentation. These are few of the slides I created earlier. Look at it. Look at the quality of this slide, the detail it created, and it just created from one single prompt. I never had to do anything else. This is a straightforward output, whatever I received earlier, whatever I'm showing in the screen now. So this is the way you will be also able to generate PowerPoint presentations very quickly just using a prompt. Let me show you all the process and procedures this video only. So this is the interface of Gamma. And that's the application we are going to use to generate our PowerPoint presentation. In the left pane, you can see there are multiple different options, templates, inspiration themes. I'll show you all those options while we'll create the PowerPoint presentation. And there are a few other controls available here. I'll come to this point later, but let me start creating the presentation so that you can understand the power this particular tool brings. So here you can see there is one option, create new and that's to using AI. And once you click on it, you will be able to see these three options. First one is the paste in text. So if you already have some content ready, maybe you may have taken help of any other LLM tool like ChatGPT, Google Gemini to generate your PowerPoint presentation content that you can copy and paste here. And from there you can start. So this is one option available here. And that's if you have already the content ready. Now, if I click on back, there is another option, import file or URL. Now, there are multiple different options here. If you see, you can bring another PowerPoint presentation. If you already have some reference presentation using which you want to build on top of it, that also you can do. So those options are here. You can bring in multiple different files, Word, PDF or PowerPoint presentation. You can import from Google Drive. If you already have something available in your Google ecosystem, in the slides form or in the docs format, that also you can bring. You can also give a reference to any of the URL and from there also it can create the presentation. But we'll do another thing this time. I'll click on back and if I now click on generate, this is the option using only a single prompt you will be able to generate your PowerPoint presentation. Let me show you one by one, step by step, how you can generate it. So this is the interface you can see. So first of all, you can see there are four different options. You can generate a presentation, web page, document or another social post. So those options are there to keep this video concise and specific to the PowerPoint presentation. In this video, I'll show you only the presentation part. I'm also in process to record few more videos covering these other options. Now presentation is selected and that's the default one. Now here you can see there are three drop down. If I click on the first one, you can see eight to 10 cards I can create using a free plan. Currently I'm using a free plan. There are plus and pro plans are also available. So in case you have more slides requirement in a single deck, then you need to have those plans. But as long as you have a free plan, you can create up to 10 slides for a slide pack. I'll continue with eight cards for now. Second option is the aspect ratio of the slide pack. If I click on this drop down, traditional default and tall, all three options are there. I'll continue with the traditional. So this is the 16 is to nine widescreen PowerPoint presentation, the way we normally create in PowerPoint. I'll select this one. And then third one is the language. Here also there are multiple different options. If you scroll down, you'll be able to see the number of languages they support. But for benefit of everyone, I'll continue with English. Here is the option where you can write your own prompt. They are also showing you some more examples using which also you can start building your presentation. If you're not happy with these options and you're looking for some more inspiration, you can click on shuffle and it will bring some new ideas again. What I'll do, I'll click on the second option and uh, let's see how it creates. So if you have any requirement ready, you can just type in the prompt box and it will start generating. For now, I'll select this particular option. So if I click on it, then it just pasted a ready-made prompt here. So that's the way you can start generating. Now, if I click on generate outline, then AI will generate the outline of the entire presentation. You can see 
slide by slide it created all the content few of the options are available here you can change anything like this 40 percent if you want to make 50 percent that edit you can do second is if you want to delete this slide altogether you can click on this particular option to delete this entire card if you need to reorder any of the slide you can just click here and drag it upwards so the slide number five will come before slide number four so using this method you will be able to reorder your slides let me bring it back again because that was proper so this is the way you will be able to edit any of your content you will also get a chance to edit later also so this is the initial thing which gamma already generated for us now if i scroll down if i want to add additional card or additional slide that i will be able to do from here and now you can see maximum 20000 tokens are allowed and we are only using 526 so we have room for other slides also now next one is you can choose a theme for your presentation there are few of the options available here but if i click on view more you will be able to see a list of all those presentations which are available look at this this is now an exhaustive list available if i just click on this one so this will be the way your presentations will look like so this is the preview it's showing so you can choose any of them you can also bring your own presentation template i'll show you later if you click on customize you can see there are two different presentations are showing right these two i earlier created one nearly 10 months ago and another today only so i can bring my own presentation template also but this is under beta it's having some little bit of bug i would say i'll show you down the line i'll come back to the standard one and i'll continue with this one blues and let me click on select theme theme is another thing which you will be also able to select later i'll show you down the line if i click on select theme then our theme is selected next one is content here you can see amount of text if you want a brief text medium or detailed that you can select and next one is a very important option that is ai images if you see it's mentioned image source if i click on this drop down there are multiple different options automatic is something that it will determine that whatever the type of images is required can it be utilized from the stock image or an ai image needs to be generated that the tool will decide and it will give you accordingly that's one second one is the stock photos web images ai images illustrations and two new things they have introduced one is image placeholder if you already have the image ready if you want to use those you can click on that and you can also mention do not add any images if you are looking for a text only slide pack that also can be done i'll click on ai images because i want ai images to be used in this creation another option is here available that is which ai model it will use to generate your images there are multiple different options few of the options are there for the basic mode currently we are using the free version their flux is available imagine is available and luma is available these are the three options are available if you have a plus or pro plan there multiple other options are also available so this is the way they have differentiated their pricing tier how will it work for now i'll continue with luma if you have any specific requirement that if you want to mention what type of images you are looking for that also you can mention if i just type here ultra photorealistic photos that i'm looking for now before i show you the next thing one small announcement my chat gpt course is now live on skillshare you can check the link in the description below i currently have two courses available there using that link you can create an id in skillshare and you can watch those courses they also have a trial period if you are happy with the platform you can continue during that trial period you can also watch multiple different other courses which have been created by top-notch instructors around the world so check out the link in the description below if you have any such recommend now coming back and let me show you the next option you can see there are 360 credits available you need to understand a bit more whenever first time you create gamma id there you will be getting 400 credits as of now that's the way it is working so you will be getting 400 credits now to generate this particular slide it normally cost you 40 credits which means whenever you will be first time create your id 
you will be able to create nearly 10 different slide packs, right? I will add two links in the video description. If you are planning to use it for free and you are just trying to evaluate, then you can use the first link where you will be getting 200 additional credits and I will also get 200 additional credits as part of the referral program. Now, once your ID will be created, you can also extend it to any of your friends and both of you will get 200 credits each. Now, that will help you to create 10 more presentations, right? So that's one way. Now, second one is they have a paid plan also. I will give another link using which if you take a paid plan, it's nearly 500 rupees per month in India. And in your country, you can also see once you click on the link that how much it's showing. Using that, you will be able to get certain discounts if you using that link. That will be an affiliate link. I may earn some of the commissions, but without any additional cost to you. Now coming back, if I now click on generate, now it will start generating the presentation for us. Step by step, it will generate and you will be able to see the entire progress. Look at this. It's creating that presentation on the fly and you are able to see the progress. So this is the way Gamma creates your PowerPoint presentation and that to that effortlessly. Now, in this video, we may have taken some additional time to understand the entire process. But once you create one presentation, second presentation onwards, you may not need more than two to three minutes just to create it. Now, this is created. Now, let me show you few of the options that what you can do within this particular console to fine tune your presentation. First of all, let me show you one very simple option. That is, if you go to share, if you come to export, you will be able to export it as a PowerPoint presentation. And there, if you are comfortable in PowerPoint, there you can continue your edit and you will be able to build on top of it. Think about a situation, you need to create a PowerPoint presentation. Maybe your boss gave you one task or you have a maybe business speech where you need to create. Instead of staring at a blank PowerPoint presentation, this is the way you'll be able to build the structure. And using that basic structure, you can build on top of it, right? So this is the way you can use Gamma AI. Now I opened that presentation which I, we just created. You can see this is the quality it generated without any fine tuning. We'll work on those fine tuning part. You can see this is the quality it generated. If you have the right prompt ready and if you have the idea, then you can just write it and it will create this presentation for you. Now let me show you few additional options which will be very, very helpful whenever you will be working within Gamma. If I click this particular image and if I just right click, then you will be able to see there are multiple different options. You can remove background of an image if you have any such requirement here that may not be applicable or you can ask AI to make certain changes. All those options are available. If you want to change anything, all those things you'll be able to do. Maybe let's do one thing. If I click here and I right click here in this image and I ask AI to do certain things. Now, once I clicked on edit with AI, then it opened this right pane here. So if I just click on this particular option, add data visualization elements, and then I click on it, then it will regenerate that image for us. Now we have 320 credits left. Let's see that how much it consumes there. It consumed 10 credits to recreate that image. So that's another thing you need to keep in mind. And now it added certain graphs and charts in that existing image. Now this is the way you will be able to edit your images. Few more things are also available. If I just come here and I add another blank slide here, there multiple different options are available like card template in which design you are looking for this card to look like or this slide to look like maybe this is the one and you will be able to use that particular one there are certain layouts are available two columns three columns the way we work inside powerpoint all those controls are there and on top of that certain additional features are also available here so you can see all these ready-made things are available you can use any of the text list tables everything and few more things if you want to add any of the youtube videos everything all those things are available here and here is another very good option that those are charts and diagrams there whatever the graphs or charts you are looking for all those things are available so this is the way you will be able to edit all these components inside your slide pack and you will be able to make record changes now once everything will be ready you can come here 
and you can present this particular slide from gamma console itself that will give you some additional leverage if i click on present you can see it started presenting if i go to the next slide you can see some additional animations it added right those who are not available in the powerpoint so this is the way you will be able to present directly from here now this has another benefit if i just click on escape then i'll be able to come back if i click on share here you can collaborate with others for this particular presentation you can give access to someone else so that they can also add their value in case you are creating a presentation as part of a team and you want to share this access that is possible but that may require some additional plan i'll show you those plans second one is you can share a link and someone will be able to open that presentation in a web browser so that's the way now what's the benefit whenever you are sharing you can come here and view an analytics you will be able to see page view how many people watched your content card engagement in each of the slide how much time people are spending that also will be visible we mainly worked on the first slide right so that's why time spent is higher here this is the way you will be getting all those analytics so this is one benefit in case you are not downloading that exportable version and you are just using gamma console to present your slides similar way if you click on share and come to export you will be able to download as pdf also earlier we already downloaded it as powerpoint and now few of the new features are available export to directly google slides that is also possible so all this way you will be able to export the slides and whatever way you are comfortable you will be able to build on top of it earlier when i was creating this slide i mentioned that you can change your theme any point of time right so now that option is also here if you select the theme then your slide pack theme also will get changed from the existing one so first of all you already created the presentation you download it and using another theme also you can download another version if you have any such requirement that way also you can do it will not cost you any of the credits another thing let me show you if i come back to home and then i click on themes and i told you i can bring my own theme also right so that's one thing you can build something from scratch by clicking on this icon and you will be able to build but you can also import a file there you will be able to import any of your powerpoint file and from there you will be able to import your own designs so hopefully this will be helpful and you will be able to create stunning powerpoint presentations very quickly if you have any questions please feel free to ask in the comments below i'll try to answer as soon as i can if you want to also talk to me directly there is one option available now using the fan call app i have added one link for that app also if you want to block my calendar and talk to me directly for any reason that also you can do earlier i also published multiple videos in this channel covering multiple different ways to create powerpoint presentation using generative ai check out this video where i shown another method and that will also be helpful for you